Hi everyone, this is Fiona. Um, today I'm gonna review some products from the house of Estee Lauder, um, which is one of my favorite brand in cosmetics and also skincare. Yeah. So let's see what I got. Um, the first one is a foundation. Um, this is not new. Uh, this is uh, the one called Nutritious Vita Mineral Makeup SPF 10. Um, I am in the shade of Intensity 2.0. So it's uh, quite light. Color is quite light. So uh, maybe if you are ancient, um, maybe you would maybe get intensity 3.0 is more suitable for lots of Asian girls because I'm pretty proud. So um, let's talk about this nutritious. I'm sorry, nutritious vitamin mineral makeup foundation. Well, uh, it's quite natural, but um, if you have oily skin, I don't recommend you to get it because uh, it's kind of, you know, uh, as the name, nutritious, so um, maybe not so popular to use in summer. Um, but I do get it, and I, I do have something which is light enough for some use, which is the famous, the famous, uh, because I thought, I remember, uh, Pic, uh, sorry, Pixie Wu, uh, she liked this very much. This is the Exelorder They Wear Plus Multi Protection Anti Oxygen Moisturizer. Sheer Tint Release Formula. So, um, unlike the other one, the other one is a cream with a uh, SPF protection. But this one is, uh, this one can give you uh, a sheer tint. Like, let me show you. So, it came out of you know. This is a you know, uh, white or kind of bluish cream, but when you rub it, when you rub it, see, it kind of, you know, tan your skin just a little bit but I wouldn't recommend this for you know um, you guys with super pale skin because it can be too much Let's see this is my other hand just this is my hand without the sheer tint and this is with the sheer tint on on it. So you rub it and it changes the color. Um like that. It's very sheer and I think the color um they don't have you know like a color light to this one because it's supposed to be a moisturizer uh, so um, I think um, so can you have a look? I think it's suitable for um, most of Asian girls have um, you know uh, even a darker skin tone than mine um, is you know great to wear as a moisturizer plus um, 
you can have layer, you know, you have you can have some color to your face. Um, and it's an it's a anti-oxidant moisturizer, so that's good for your skin. And it has SPF 15. Um, not quite enough, but you will might you might have to you know uh, put on some sunscreen with uh, a better SPF. Just like this one. Uh, I'm sorry. It just can't focus. This is the Isolator um, Cyber White Brilliant Cells. Uh, full spec spectrum brightening UV protector. And in SPF 50. 50. SPF 50. PA plus plus plus. <laughs> Um, I have heard a lot of good things about Essilor's, uh sunscreen, but um, I don't like this at all. Um, I have dry skin, but um, I have very dry skin indeed, but this one it's far too greasy. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, normally, I've tried um, the um, daywear, the daywear moisturizer with the SPF. I forgot. Uh, 20, 30, something. 20, 20 to 30. Um, that one is with dark tint, with dark tint, of course. That one um, is much better because um, it's not that greasy. This one is greasier than the Daywear Plus cream. So I'll show you. And it's definitely not fast absorbing. Very fast. It's 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 too shiny. <laughs> Even for dry skin, it's just too shiny. So um, if you are oily skin, I wouldn't recommend this to yeah for you. But if you have drier skin than me, you can you can try try yourself but it's um it's still you know sticky on my hand <laughs> i feel sticky on my hand it feels so sticky um but the sheer tin this one will not be greasy at all trust me this is the holy grail um but recently they have changed the package of this bottle um but um oh yeah they also changed the uh moisturizer which is the one with though the tint um they changed both of their packaging to be more elegant i don't know you know <laughs> yeah so and other product It's not, um, yeah. Um, so I was supposed to get this as uh, get the cyber white billion cells, uh, UV cream. <laughs> for uh, I was supposed to get it as a base before my foundation, but as it fell on me at least on my skin type so um, what I have been used is this one 
I'm sorry. Oh, um, I'll just read it to you. The Lauer Messier Foundation Primer in Hydrating. Uh, this one is my holy grail on, uh, you know, uh, makeup base. So, um, if you haven't, if you haven't tried this, please go try it. Um, I know it's. A, I'm sorry, <laughs> my my email. Um, it worth every penny. Uh, it won't call your pores. Uh, it won't be too moisturizing, and just when you apply it on your face, it just feels smooth without any greasy at all. So if you're looking for a perfect base for summer or or, or even winter, yeah, um, maybe you can get this one instead of uh, this one. So again, um, the product I review is the Acid Lauder Nutritious Visor Mineral Makeup SPF 10 in the color Intensity 2.0 and the second one is a famous Essen Lauder Daywear Plus um, the full name is Multi Protection Anti Oxidant Moisturizer Sheer Tint Release Formula with SPF 15 so this is the one you you were gonna you will want to get. I'm sorry, the light is coming from the window, so it's hard to focus. Um, I will put the product link below, you know, of course, so you can check it, check them out. The third one, uh, the greasy one, <laughs> the greasy UV protection cream, um, is. As a border cyber white brilliant cells, full spectrum brightening UV protector with SPF 50, PA triple plus, PA plus plus plus, triple plus. Yeah, I don't know if it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, this one. So, and uh, the last one I will. I recommend you guys to try it out is this one the Nawa Mercier foundation primer in hydrating you can get the normal one if you want but uh, the don't but don't worry the hydrating one um, just uh, you can see it yourself There's no shiny, no shiny effect to it, and it's really hydrating. I some I sometimes I sometimes use it as a moisturizer as well <laughs> because um it's hydrating yet not greasy at all. So this is my monthly pick. Um, maybe or maybe you can say monthly favorites. I hope that you like it and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.